Okay, here we go. Once again, Republican nomination here. Um, just a few of my thoughts. Sarah Palin. Oh, man. What is her problem? Sarah, what's your problem? I mean, what else does Mitt Romney have to do? I mean, you still are questioning his conservative credentials. I'm, are you serious? And this comes from you who jumped on McCain, the moderate bandwagon, what, because it was an opportunity to be vice president? And, well, yeah, you know, that's good enough to, to jump on there. Yeah, hey, you know, just jump on the old McCain bandwagon. You know, Mr. Moderate, he makes... He makes uh, you know Romney look uh, uber conservative, you know. But that is like, come on, you, you, get over yourself. You know, you're not the, the kingmaker. Um, you know, Mitt Romney is plenty conservative. She's got the financial uh, conservatism that this country needs, and he's plenty socially conservative. You know, you know it. Just admit it. You know. We need, yeah, I want a social conservative, but I don't want a zealot. And frankly, Rick, is it Rick or Dick Santorum? It's Richard. I don't know. We'll just call him Tricky Rick. How about that? Oh, Tricky Rick Santorum there. He, you know, I'm sure he's a decent guy. I'm sure he is. And he'd be way better than Obama. But the guy's kind of far out there, you know? I mean, he's way out in right field. I mean... He makes right not seem so far right. He's kind of, I mean, he's crazy, you know, right. I mean, socially, he's, you know, um, you know, my position on abortion is uh, it should be limited, right? Incest, imminent harm to the mother. Um, you know, why do I feel that way? Well, you know, because if, if a woman is raped or there's incest, you know, then, you know, a reasonable person looks at that and says, well, that's where the woman had no choice. She was raped. You know, her choice was taken from her, and it's up to her if she wants to carry the product of that said rape. Look, I understand the argument can be made. It's not a child's fault. I get that. However, it's got to be, you know, it's got to be some common sense drawn here. You know, you got the far left that wants to have, you know, drive through abortion clinic uh, clinics, and you got the far right that, I mean, you know, like Rick Santorum, boo, you know, you know, Tricky Rick. Um, he's too far the opposite direction. You know, I'm not saying I'm 100% right, but I'm more right than those on the left, and I think I'm more right than the Rick Santorums, all the Tricky Ricks. That's that's my name. I'm going to wear it out. So, um, you know, that being said, you know, Mitt Romney, let me tell you, I think he's socially conservative enough. Um we need someone with good financial credentials. And I'll tell you, that's Mitt Romney. The man knows how to turn companies around. He turned the Olympics around. He turned companies around in Bain. He knows how to he knows how to look at something objectively and say, you know what? This part of the company is not working. Cut it. It's dead weight. Get rid of it. Reform it. Do something. We don't have that now. And frankly, Rick Santorum. Uh, doesn't have the experience, you know. He's basically a, a, a you know a, a Washington insider that got kicked to the curb badly and spent the rest of his time lobbying. I mean, hell, he was in there. What was it? Lobbying for uh, what was it? Tort reform to limit uh, malpractice suits to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. My understanding, his wife was suing a chiropractor for five hundred thousand because she gained weight. Put the Twinkie down. Well, maybe. I, I, why? Well, because you cracked your back wrong. You know, you settled for like three hundred seventy-five thousand. Come on, don't sit here and tell me how you want to do this stuff. I mean, on one side, you you know, you can't even control what's going on in your own house. Oh yeah, let's limit tort reform, honey. Go sue the chiropractor because you got fat. And sue him for half a million dollars. Really? Wow. You can buy a lot of Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig for that. I guess I don't know. Um, but your big union, Rick. Come on, Tricky Rick. Admit it. You know, look at all your ties and vote for the union. You know, double the National Education Association. Um, hey, Rick, I don't know if you knew this, but the NEA, you know, that's the teachers' union. 
And this is where a lot of the indoctrination goes on, is at the schools. This is where the liberals get their little meat hooks in our kids, you know, and rifle through their lunch bags to make sure that they have the right type of government nutrition. And you want to double the size of that? What the hell's the matter with you, man? You know, and don't say, oh, well, I'll reform that. Because you know what? All you've done is put the, put the machinery in place. Because if you were to become president, someday you won't be. And we'll get another Barack Obama in there. And guess what? You just now doubled the size of the government so they could fire that machine right up and start cranking out them little liberals again. I mean, you don't know what the hell you're doing. You know, so, uh, you know, Rick, you're not a fiscal conservative. You're not. Mr. Bridge to Nowhere. And I'm not going to sit here and say Mitt Romney's the perfect candidate, but you know what? I think he's the most perfect candidate that we have at this point. He's socially conservative enough. He's fiscally uh, you know, the best conservative out there. Um, you know, that's not to say that, you know, Rick's got a few good ideas. Um, Newt's got a few good ideas. Um, when he's not throwing hand grenades and cheating on spouses, I guess. Um, even Ron Paul's got some good ideas when he's not trying to legalize heroin and everything else. But, you know, each one of these guys has some good, you know, yeah, I'm a little sarcastic, but, you know, because you know, I've kind of narrowed it down to, to Mitt Romney. I think he's our best chance to get Obama out, period. And that's, that in my opinion... Most important, period. Um, hey, Glenn, this is a shout out to Glenn Beck. Love your program. Love GBTV. But, dude, let go of the Santorum thing. I mean, you know how, oh, man, Pat and Stu are on the program. I mean, when you go to commercial break, why don't you just say, this half hour is sponsored by Rick Santorum. Oh, man, you guys are like the Rick Santorum campaign headquarters. Man, how about being objective? Huh? What are you going to say when he plummets like everyone else did? You know, he'll get exposed. We'll see what he's about. And let's face it. Hey, real quick. You know, Rick's on top. Sort of. Um, you know, some places, some polls too close to, to call. But you wonder why Rick is leading in places like uh, Michigan and Ohio. Well, duh. Um... Guess uh, guess what there's a bunch of there? Union workers. Yeah, 